Well, some signing news today. I'm going to make this its own little short video because uh, it, it's it's an interesting signing. We'll see how it turns out in the, the big picture. But the Boston Bruins have kept Yarrow Halak. They've, they've agreed to keep him around next year. He takes a pay cut. He's going to make $2.25 million next year. He makes $2.75 million during the season that's on pause. His numbers this year were 18, 6, and 6 with a 919 save percentage. His career numbers 272 wins, 167 losses in regulation, and 58 overtime losses or ties. 916 career save percentage. Pretty good numbers. He was a number 271 pick in 2003 by the Montreal Canadiens. He's played for the Habs. He's played for the Blues. He's played for the Caps. He's played for the Islanders. And of course, now the Bruins. So this means that next year. Boston retains both Halak and Rask, and uh, Halak takes a half a million less. I really, I look at what's going on right now and, and some of these moves being made, and I think with this one, I think it signals Boston wants to keep Krug around. I'm not sure how you do it. I'm, I'm not sure how that works, but you get everybody else signed first. You figure out how much money you got left over, and then you make your pitch to Tory Krug. Uh, this this reminds me of what Brad Marchand said earlier this year, which was if you want to get paid, you get paid somewhere else. If you want to win, you can do it in Boston. So this, again, is a goaltender who's turning 35. He might have been able to make more as an unrestricted free agent this summer and said, nope, I'll take less money, help the Boston Bruins uh, manage to stay in the hunt and, and potentially win something more than just a, you know, a Stanley Cup Finals appearance, which they're good at, and, and maybe win another Stanley Cup. So... Uh, yeah, $2.25 million, that is completely a bargain considering how Halak has been able to give Rask extra nights off, which made Rask fresher for the playoffs last year. Definitely helped. And as a, as a fan of the Bruins, I, I find no fault in this whatsoever. I just wonder at what point are we going to see Tory Krug maybe stick around. So uh, good move by the Bruins, good move by Don Sweeney, who's been pretty smart with the money and I get the feeling he sits down and negotiates with these guys and he probably starts with all right here's our plan here's where the team's headed and here's here's where we see you in this vision and here's how much money we can afford to pay you if you want to win sign on the dotted line and we're going to do our best to 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 win as much as we can um yeah pretty smart signing for the Bruins let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through you just happened upon this video Thank you guys so much for all your support. I'll talk to you again soon.